Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. And one thing too, you pride yourself on being self-sufficient. For sure, bro. I can do that. I, I, I have a job and I, I have a business it. as well. Yeah, for sure. But you like, bro, I, I get what you're saying. You a set, but you have your business. You take care of yourself. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. And it ain't always been easy, man. It yeah. ain't always been easy, bro. Like I told you. This shit look good now, bro, but like, man, it done been months where I didn't sell a bitch ass thing, but that, but I was, but I washed a car every day of the week. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why I be telling a lot of my little rap, rap partners, bro, like, man, I've been, I've been preaching this to them boys for years, man. Like, bro, y'all could be, like, it's cool to be a rap nigga, man, but like, man, like, start, start, like, posting on your IG page, maybe you... Cutting a yard every now and then, or like doing, doing some shit with your hands, bro, so it won't look so so crazy if if they see, oh, oh, he he was in the club performing, but why that nigga washing the car? Nigga, cause that's my business. Like go, like make mm -hmm. it a thing. Make I, I, and that's why I've been trying to. That's why I always been so vocal and and not hid what I did with my car wash business, bro. I want to show you niggas, man. I'm, man. I'm really, I really feel like I'm cooler than you a lot of, a lot of you niggas. And I and I got. And I can get just as bad of women as y'all. And I know most all the niggas y'all know. I'm I'm plugged in with celebrities, nigga. Mm -hmm. I ain't no lame ass nigga. I'm good. I, I can fight, shoot. I smell good. All that fly shit. And I get out here and wash a car. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Them niggas too cool to look dirty for a couple songs. No, man. You you walking. You promoting your brand. You taking pictures. You passing out flyers. You. A you, you know what I'm saying? I'm, so, a, I'm a walking enterprise, bro. Like I say, I'm, a, I'm, like I say, and that's how you gotta be, bro. You gotta be your own PR, bro. You gotta mm -hmm. be your own everything, bro. Like you gotta be your own empire, bro. And like I say, it is a mini empire because on it was some months where I didn't sell a bitch ass sleepers for the rich product, but the Grand Duel Mobile Detailing rolled every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I took the money from my car wash business and and started this brand. Mm. I paid for the I paid for the sleepers for the rich trademark with the car wash money, bro. Damn. But niggas don't want to look dirty for a few summers. Niggas don't want to niggas don't want girls to walk outside the club and say, "Look at that nigga washing washing uh washing such and such bins." I had girls do that to me, fool, back in the day when I started when I was detailing cars, fool, out of the van, you know, because they they didn't see the vision. They ain't know one day I was gonna be hiring their cousin. To fucking work at my, at my spots and shit. Or, or sitting across the table from, with T.I. Or sitting across the table with Tip, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. on CNN with Chris Cuomo, you know, mm -hmm. on some activism shit, bro. But like I say, they didn't, you know, but... And I couldn't even see all of that, but I knew every millionaire, every millionaire and billionaire that I ever studied, bro, they all said that they either used to wash cars or had a paper route mm -hmm. or... um did something bro like something like that bro so i studied i studied people like that i studied you know millionaires master p said he washed cars mm -hmm. did he say one of his first jobs was washing cars we didn't heard ross say that mm -hmm. uh, ross said it too, yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying i done studied damon john with fubu mm -hmm. all the man bro i'm like not saying this though 50 has made his way to your city. Man, salute to 50 Cent, Curtis, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, man. Man, we AKA out here right Ferrari, now. man. Well, I mean, like, how, how did you feel about a man like him embracing your city and bringing all this business and turning things around? You know, you got some people complaining about it. Man, you already know who gonna be the ones complaining. The only people complaining is the ones that ain't never opened a motherfucking hot dog stand in the city. The ones that's complaining ain't never threw a party in the, in the city. The ones that's complaining ain't, ain't Ain't building nothing, goddamn it. They ain't finna kill nothing. They ain't finna let nothing die, man. It's the, it's the same ones, my nigga. It's the hate that hate brings, bro. They the same ones that that, that hate on everything, bro. The, the the loudest booze come from the cheapest seats, bro. Remember that. The yeah, loudest man. booze come from the cheapest seats. The niggas that paid the the, the least, the niggas that snuck in or the paid the least to get in, mm -hmm. them go be the niggas that leave the worst reviews. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Yeah. So fuck anybody that got something to say about Fifty Cent coming to town. Um, if you ask me, like y'all shouldn't be saying a bitch ass thing about Fifty Cent coming here because y'all done hated on every other local nigga that done tried to do something anyway. Every nigga that done came out of Shreveport, every every nigga that done never tried to make a name for Shreveport and tried to make this bitch proud, bro. These these local hating ass bitches done hated on them, bro. From me to Bebe nigga to Hurricane to Wild Yellow. Um, um, my nigga shooting got it, nigga, uh, Rose Aiden got it, 
Um, even down, even even some of my just my you know some of the just the local hot boys, my nigga Zove, like man, bro, like every nigga that have made this city proud in some kind of way. I, Ryan Williams, the businessman, bro. Um, man, stop, man, bro. Anybody that have never tried to make this bitch proud, bro. Some of these very hating ass locals then, then salted them down, tried to counsel them, tried to tell people not to shop with them because we hurt your bitch ass feelings. But guess what, bitch, we still don't apologize. Anybody who feelings I hurt in 2020 on record, I still don't apologize. Still don't apologize. And I'm tripling, doubling, quadrupling down on whatever hurts your feelings the most. Whatever triggers you the most, I'm tri I meant that. Fuck you.